Welcome to Truth to Tell. I think it's pretty well known that you can shoot 38 special cartridges in 357 Magnum revolvers because even though the case is shorter, bullet diameter is about the same, case diameter is the same, and the pressure of the 38 special is lower than the pressure of the 357 Magnum. But what about 38 Super Auto? Bullet diameter is about the same. Case diameter is about the same. It has a semi-rim on it. And the pressure is lower than 357 Magnum. So let's take a look at this. I have this little problem that I've had this box of 38 Super ammunition for quite a few years, but I've never had a 38 Super autoloader to fire it in. So I wanted to look at the interchangeability of the... 38 Super with uh, the 357 Magnum chamber. So you see the 38 SW is actually the largest diameter case, then the 38 Super, then the 38 Special and the 357 Magnum. So as a result, you might not be able to fit some of these cases in other firearms. So for comparison, I've got a Smith & Wesson Victory model here in 38 S and W. And of course it accepts the 38 S and W cartridge. It will not accept the 38 Special because the chamber is cut so that it narrows right here at the end of the case of the 38 S&W, and since the 38 Special is longer, it won't go past that. Same th with the 38 Super, it's too long a case to go past, fit in before the shoulder inside the cylinder. So if you take the 38 Special, now this is a Model 12 Chief Special, six shot. You of course can't chamber 38 S and W in it because case diameter is too large. You of course it's built for the 38 Special, so that goes into it. 357 is too long. But the chamber is big enough around for the 38. 38 Super, but I don't think you want to shoot that in a 38 Special. I'll tell you why. It's a matter of pressure. The 38 S&W is only a 13,000 PSI round. The 38 Special is a 17,000 PSI round. The 38 Special plus P is 20,000. But the 38 Super is a 33,000 PSI round. So it's fine if it'll fit into a 357 Magnum revolver because this is a 35,000 PSI round. So if I took uh, my Smith & Wesson 357 and tried to put the 38 Super in there, it binds because there's something about the diameter of this chamber. Apparently it's got a little taper to it that won't let the 38 Super go all the way in. But if I take my Ruger and I put the 38 Super in it, it goes all the way in. So I had this bright idea. What if I took a 38 S&W sizing die and ran the 38 Super into it a short distance and cleaned up the diameter at the mouth of the case? So I've got a shell holder here that fits 357 SIG and 40 S&W, which is also the correct shell holder for the 38 Super. I have the 38 SW sizing die on mounted on my RCBS press. The 
added lock ring here is so I don't have to change my setting for the 38 S and W in order to just clean up the mouth of the 38 super cartridges. So it's just uh, very simply push it up in and take it back out. And the result of the sizing die treatment, right in. So the next thing that I think I'm going to have to do is actually shoot some 38 Super in uh, my 357. All right, so the remaining decision is which one of these revolvers I'm going to try this in. So we know from past measurement that the Rugers have 0.381 inch chambers, and the Smith & Wesson has a 0.380 chamber, and I've verified this from my accurate to a thousandth of an inch dial caliper against my accurate to a ten thousandth of an inch micrometer. And so I know those measurements are accurate, just comparing the two instruments to each other as much as I could, like setting this one at 380 and measuring it with the micrometer. All right. First shot, 38 Super, Ruger 357, snowing, minus six wind chill.